president has been less than charitable about Russia in a recent interview. Barack Obama named a list of troubles he says are haunting Moscow. Quite a few people have been quick to point out, though, that some crucial things uh, he mentioned there were wrong. Garnet Future can explain. So President Obama gave a short answer on Russia, and judging by the transcript, it was keen to move on to other questions. But in that one paragraph, he seemed to downplay Russia's role in the world. So the U.S. president offered his perspective of Russia in these words, quote, Russia doesn't make anything. Immigrants aren't rushing to Moscow in search of opportunity. The life expectancy of a Russian male is around 60 years old. The population is shrinking. Well, those who looked at the statistics have pointed out a few inaccuracies in that one paragraph. About immigrants, according to the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs, Russia hosts the largest, the world's largest population of immigrants after the United States. So second to the United States. Most people who've been to Moscow couldn't help but notice the huge influx of immigrants. The life expectancy of a Russian male is indeed sadly low, but it's not 60 years old, as the president the said, but 65. Malaysia. You know, it's a big margin of error when you talk about such data. Also, according to President Obama, Russia's population is shrinking. But if you look at the latest numbers, it's not shrinking. It's actually growing. And Russia's population has been growing for at least the past five years due to very various factors, it may indeed shrink in the future, but now it is it is not. About Russia, uh, you know, not, not making anything, well, Russians themselves are very concerned about their economy being centered around oil and gas, but there are some things that they still produce, you know, like Shock. spacecraft, which to this day delivers U.S. astronauts some to space. Many would find, you know, such remarks dismissive, but I guess when tensions are this high uh, between the countries, we probably shouldn't be surprised.